Welcome to Make with H2O. Today we're going to talk about how to get started with the new feature for H2O Wave, Snippets in the PyCharm IDE. Wave Snippets is a plugin available for PyCharm, which allows you to have access to example getting started apps, along with tips and tricks for how to use different cards and components. Additionally, it has all the different icons you can use throughout your app automatically available for you. Let's look at how to install this plugin and get started using it. We'll start by opening PyCharm. Although we could download the plugin directly from the JetBrains website, we're going to go into PyCharm, click on Preferences, and go to Plugins. You can then search in Marketplace for H2O Wave. After installing the plugin, we're going to restart PyCharm so that we have access to it. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a new Python file. And to use the snippets, all I have to do is type the letter W. Now I have access to different components and cards, example apps, and all the icons I might want to use. I often like to get started with the app header. This is an example app that has a header at the top and a body in the center that I use for almost all my projects to get started. To see what this looks like, we'll go ahead and run it. and then open up the app. Here we can see we have a header card, a center body card where we can put any content we want, a nice footer saying it's made with Wave, and we can easily switch from light to dark mode. This is one example of what comes with snippets. There are other apps we can look at as well. Another thing available with the snippets is the ability to get started with the cards and components a little faster. I'm gonna go into my body where I have a text that says this is my app, and I want to add a button. Now, I'm not exactly sure what all is available with buttons. So instead, I can use my snippets if I remember how to type. I have two options. I can use W button, which gives me exactly what is required to create a button. It just needs a name. Or I can use the W button full which gives me all the parameters available for customizing the button. This is particularly nice when you're using a card or component for the first time and you want to be able to see everything available with it to make it exactly what you want. In addition to our components, cards, and example apps, we also are able to use this uh, snippets feature for icons. For example, maybe our button, we want it to have a shopping cart. I can type shopping and I have all the options available for me. I'll do that a little slower. Here are all the different icons we might want to use, but we'll do shopping cart. So let's go ahead and save this. And I know that my button is going to need a name. Remember that was required. Now let's go to the local host and I can see my text with my two buttons, one with no text because I didn't give it a label and one with my shopping cart icon. Additionally, one last feature available with snippets. If you're ever using the um, expand a list like q.client or q.user, we have help with snippets for those as well. So for example, I've previously created q.client initialized. So if I wanted to use this elsewhere in my app, you can see I have the option of the three things that are available in the client dropdown for me. So I don't have to remember or look through my, my code. It's there automatically. We hope you are able to get started with snippets, and if you have any example code you find yourself regularly using or you have an exciting, exciting idea for a new snippet, we invite you to come to the GitHub, go into Discussions, and submit a show and tell with the snippets you'd like to see or code you think would be a good snippet. Have fun making wave apps!